This is the ultimate YouTube channel customization guide. I'm going to teach you everything. Do not leave your avatar blank. Do not leave your banner blank. Do not leave your links blank, guys. Come on. Make sure you add tags. I'm going to show you how to do all of this stuff. It's going to make your channel more discoverable, more clickable. I'm going to show you how to add that description. As you can see here, you want a business email in case people want to sponsor you or do collabs with you. Make yourself available for business opportunities. I'll show you how to do that. You also want to add a trailer to your channel so people can get a preview of what your channel content is like. I'll show you how to add that. And you want to have playlists curated to your channel by category so people can easily navigate your channel, understand what you're all about, and one click, they're one click away from watching a piece of your content. Don't hide it behind other features on YouTube. I'll show you which ones are good, which ones are bad for your YouTube channel to drive traffic. And of course, if you have more channels or collaborators you work with, you can feature other channels on your channel to get people sucked into that YouTube black hole so they watch even more of your content. You ready to do this with me? Please do this step by step and don't leave any of these options on the table. They can all contribute in each one little way and it can add up to a big impact. Top right hand corner, YouTube Studio. Click that button. You're going to arrive at the main channel dashboard. It may not be super clear, but over here on the side, uh, under customization, scroll down and go to customization. That's where everything for your channel is located. This should be called channel, honestly, but whatever. The magic wand icon represents channel customization. Now, here you go. So let's start with layout. So first things first, it's gonna tell you that you have two different channel trailers. What are the difference between these? Okay, the top one is for people that have not subscribed. So make that really general. Let's make that something that's really friendly for somebody who's new to your channel. If you wanna record a trailer specifically for your channel, do it. Click add new video, or if you've already added one, you can change it. And this is the same menu that's gonna pop up for everything. So if you don't already have a trailer, just go through your content and go find some piece of content that is very, very uh, friendly for new folks that are on your channel that isn't too in depth. And for, so for example, I'm gonna do the best time to upload to YouTube. Seems like a good video for people to check me out. You guys choose yours. Recording a custom trailer is better than selecting a video. For returning subscribers, you can select an actual video on your channel. So what you can consider here is uh, selecting something that's a really hot piece of content that you want everyone that has subscribed to you to see. Click the button, add new video, or you can change it. Now there is the option to remove the video for both of these trailers. You do not have to have a trailer, okay? And if you do that, here's what happens. As people scroll down your channel as they're navigating, it will just eliminate this section and they'll just get straight into the playlists or whatever it is that you have below and they won't see the trailer that won't get in their way. So if you just wanna show your playlist and you don't wanna show a piece of content, that's fine. Then get rid of the trailers and it'll just go straight to the playlists where people can manually select the content that they want to see. Your choice, your channel. Featured sections is so extensive it, it's crazy and so as you can see here you can only add up to 10 items to featured to the featured sections on your channel i've maxed mine out i recommend you max yours out as well i'm going to get rid of my camera so you can see how you do these settings so for now i'm going to remove a section so that i have room on my channel to add a section okay so you click the add section button plus button right over here and it gives you so many options it's ridiculous don't do uploads because people can already see your uploads. You can do popular uploads if popular, popular uploads are relevant to the content you're releasing today. Short videos, if you're doing YouTube shorts and you think they're good, add them here, that's fine. Live now is a good option. I recommend adding live now if, you go, if you're a streamer. Put live now at the top of your channel. I'll show you how to do that right now, actually. I just added live now. And as you can see, whenever you add a section, it puts it at the bottom by default. If you want, the sections to be toward the top, you can reorder them by dragging them by clicking the two horizontal bars. So as you can see, boop, you move it up, you slide this up to the top, and that's how you can reorder items. Live now, of course, you'd want at the top of your channel so that anybody who is happening to visit your channel while you're live would see that, right? Cool, I'm gonna remove that for now just so we can show other sections. Click add section, there's past live streams. I don't recommend curating that. Upcoming live streams, don't recommend doing that for most people unless you have a scheduled events strategy. So the only thing worth curating from this top section is live now, in my opinion.
Now, from the playlist section, there's three options here. I think that created playlists is bad and multiple playlists is bad. And here's why. When you go to somebody's channel like this and you scroll down here, I'll come back. Um, do you want to have to click to do you want to have to click a playlist to then go into that playlist and click again to see a piece of content? Or would you rather just see the content? So the so if you add multiple playlists here instead of videos, they have to click the playlist to then click a video. I don't like that. And same thing with created playlists. I don't think that that's good because the more clicks you hide your content behind, the less views that you're going to get, right? It, it, it makes it more difficult for people to see your videos. The whole point of this is to make it more easy for them to see your videos. So I do not recommend created playlists or multiple playlists. Do a single playlist. And that's what all of these are here, right? As people scroll down your channel, they'll see each playlist name and they'll see the videos that are in that playlist and they can click if they want to or not if they don't want to. So once again, I recommend doing live now from the top section. I recommend doing single playlist from the playlist section. Here, I'll disappear so you can see them. And then from the channel section, I don't recommend doing subscriptions. That's every channel you're subscribed to. That's pointless. But I do recommend featured channels if you have other channels or you have collaborators that you work with on YouTube that you would like to feature. For example, take a look at my featured channel section on my down here. I have my clips channel. I have my podcast channel and etc and i want to feature my other youtube channels if somebody is interested in watching more content from me i recommend putting this toward the bottom of your channel uh, because once again this hides content behind a click i don't like sections that hide content behind a click unless you have to do that uh, so as you can see my strategy is to show my content up front on my channel uh, so that in one click, they can see the video. Whereas if you feature a channel, they have to click the channel. And then once they arrive at that channel, they get the content. Don't hide your content behind a click, but I do recommend showing that you have other channels because this could get you another subscriber on the other channel. And this could get people to jump into the YouTube black hole to watch more and more of your content. Makes sense? I'm coming back. Here I am. That is the layout. Let's talk about the branding though. The branding is very important. So they made it so much easier with YouTube Studio. Thank you, YouTube, <laughs> seriously. This is so much better than the way it used to be. So avatar is right here. That's basically what this is. And what you're gonna wanna do is uh, create an avatar that is a square format as in one by one, as in the same number of pixels horizontal as it is vertical and max it out. Get it as close to four megabytes in size. That's the maximum right now or get it as close to four megabytes in size as possible to maximize the quality. You're gonna click add, you're gonna upload the image, and boom, there it is. And if you wanna change it, you just click the change button or you can remove it, okay? Very straightforward. Same thing with the banner image. Do the exact specifications that they're listing here. 2048 by 1152 pixels. Try to get it to exactly six megabytes to maximize the quality add it it's going to give you a cropping section where you can crop it up and make sure that it looks good on all devices so straightforward so easy now now here's a feature at the bottom that you may not be aware of and it is the video watermark so what you can do with a video and watermark is add a little teensy tiny image to your videos that pops up in the bottom right hand corner of all your videos you probably see it in this video maybe around where i am like down here ish right and if people click that they have the option to subscribe so when you, I recommend adding that image, I recommend having it be your branding. Um, I used to put a subscribe button on mine. I don't like that. Just have it be your branding. I think it's better. And I uh, and what I do recommend doing at that point is having that show up for the entire video, the entire video, not just at a little part of the video, but the entire video. So if you do the end of the video, it only shows up the end. If you do custom start time, it only shows up then. If you do entire video. They'll, you'll have that little logo hanging over every video all the time, driving subscriptions for you. Do it. Just add that. Don't leave subscribers on the table. Get as many subscribers as possible. Now, here is the part, basic info, that can actually help you get discovered. So this is how you can, you can change your channel name right here. I'm not going to change mine, but you can change your channel name by clicking the pen here, and you can literally change it to whatever you want done <laughs> it's that simple um and 
uh, what you can do with your channel description. You want to write a very search engine optimized and very rich description as close to 1,000 characters as possible. So let me disappear. See the little thing down here behind me? It'll give you this little uh, number right here, as you can see, that tells you how close you are to 1,000 characters right down here when you're writing. Get it close to 1,000 characters. Use all 1,000 to help your channel be discovered. And if you're not sure what keywords to use for this and or your channel tags, um, I very, very highly uh, recommend using a tool called TubeBuddy. So uh, TubeBuddy, there's a link in the description below to TubeBuddy where you can explore different keywords, see how much they're searched, see what the competition versus in supply and demand is. There's an affiliate link below. Look, let me just show you real quick what it's all about. Keyword Explorer, go ahead. Let's say your keyword on your channel is, uh, here, I'm gonna come back here. Let's say your keyword is uh, fishing for your channel. Just an example of how this works. What you can do is type in the keyword into TubeBuddy, you click Explore, and it'll show you all the video searches related to that keyword. So let's say uh, fishing in the dark, if fishing fails and fishing freaks are three keywords that you uh, think are good opportunities for you on your channel. You can research them here, see which ones are good. Then with this information, with this research you've done using TubeBuddy, you write those keywords into your description. So as you can see here in my description is very, very search rich. I have lots of keywords in here, such as content creators, such as grow your audience, such as, uh, you know, um, you know, streamers, uh, I have uh, audio, video, and live streaming production. I've done a lot of research, live events, et cetera, beginner software tutorials. I've got a lot of keywords in here I research using TubeBuddy. I recommend writing a rich description uh, that makes your channel more searchable. Now, you can customize your channel URL using this feature. So it'll show your big nasty URL here. You can type in a custom one, but keep in mind, you, there's no longer the opportunity to have the really nice URLs anymore. They now add a slash C slash whatever the thing is that you type in. So keep that in mind. And if, you, if yours is already taken, it's gone. So I, I recommend securing your custom URL today. All right, now to add links on your channel, it's very, very self-explanatory. You click the add link button right here and you literally type in the title of your link, I recommend that being a call to action. So what do I mean by that? Don't type in Twitter. Don't type in Instagram. Don't type in website. Type in a call to action and then link it. So what do I mean by that? By the way, if you hit the trash can, it makes the link go away. Uh, so follow for free live coaching. The action is follow. Schedule one-on-one -on -one coaching. I'm telling them to schedule something. Ask me questions on Twitter. Let's connect on LinkedIn. Like me on Facebook. You get the point. Follow me on Instagram. Okay. Give them an action to take with those buttons. Don't just put Instagram. All right. <laughs> like try a little bit to get a click. Okay. And once you do those, what they'll do is they'll show up at the top of your channel and the top link is the big nasty one right here. That's the main one you want to be on your channel, it'll show the text to everyone. So put your most important link at the top there. And what you're gonna do is uh, reorder them. So you can make whatever link you want at the top by clicking the double horizontal lines and dragging it toward the top. Your most important call to action should be the top link, okay? Now you can select how many links actually show up on your channel by doing links on banner option here. I like doing first five links. You can do only the first link if you want, whatever you want. I recommend doing five. And then you can add your contact info with your email address down here at the bottom. That's mine. And that's where people can contact you for sponsorships and business. Got it? Got it? Good. Wonderful. Once all of these changes are done, you hit the publish button right here, and it will publish it to your YouTube channel and make the changes. I don't want personally to make the changes that I did today because my channel was already optimized, but you get the point. Beautiful. And so that is how you optimize your YouTube channel. That is how you add all the sections that I told you about before. Pretty cool, right? But here's another thing that you need to know. I'm sorry that there's so many sections, but if you want to add tags to your YouTube channel, unfortunately, they don't have this in the section for some reason. So what you're going to do is you're going to go over here to settings in YouTube studio. See it right over here. All right. Click settings. I'm sorry they make you dig, guys, but that's why I'm doing this tutorial. Go to channel, 
And then here are your tags for your YouTube channel, your keywords. And so you can use TubeBuddy, like I told you a moment ago, where you can research the keywords that are related to your channel. You copy them here from TubeBuddy and paste them here in your keywords for your channel, and it will help your channel be more discoverable. You'll also want to choose your country of residence here uh, in this section to help your channel be more discoverable. That is it, my friends. Download TubeBuddy and install it for free. Link in the description below. It'll help inform that channel description as well as those channel tags. And be sure to fill out all of these fields as you're putting together your channel curation strategy and just max out every potential view, every potential piece of business, every potential benefit and opportunity from your YouTube channel while we still have YouTube in its current state. Thank you so much for watching. Best of luck.